Hello, Linked HR, wherever you are in the world. I'm sorry for my silence of two weeks. I've taken a couple of weeks off to be with my family uh, in Seattle, the United States, and now in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. So I'm recording this from Rio de Janeiro, and I'm going to try to be back. I'll be here until before Christmas. Um, as, uh, as I get ready for the holidays, I started again writing uh, working on an article with my students on horrible, terrible leaders. So the idea of good leaders and bad leaders is very much um, something I'm thinking about now. And um, I had a conversation just recently with my, my family here, with my niece, with my mom, about what's a leader, what's the difference between a leader and a manager, and what is a good leader versus a bad leader. So here was my answer to them. A leader is someone who would be followed even if people didn't have to follow them. People didn't have to follow that leader. In other words, you are a leader if people would follow you regardless of your position of authority. If people would not follow you if you did not have your official position, your ability to hire and fire, your ability to give people good or bad performance appraisals, then I'm sorry to say you're not a leader. You could be a manager. You could be a really good manager. You could be getting great ratings from your organization. You could be considered a rainmaker, but you're still not a leader of people because they would not follow you if you did not have that magical key to the top office that gives you some kind of perks and some ability to, to control what other people are doing. Um, for people to follow you if they don't have to, then the next question is, what makes that happen? Why would we follow someone who is not our official boss? What makes us choose somebody whom we would follow? For example, what makes us choose a mentor? Someone whose influence we actively seek, somebody whose help we, we ask for. If we consider that leadership is influence, when somebody seeks a mentor, uh, without having to seek that mentor, that's a type of influence and that's definitely a type of leadership. So what makes you follow somebody or makes you ask for somebody's advice when that advice, not following it, does not yield any bad consequences for you career-wise? I would argue that one of the main reasons I would follow somebody when I don't have to follow that person is I strongly believe that with all that person's inevitable imperfections, because none of, us, none of us are perfect, that person has my best interest at heart. I can forgive a lot, just like I hope people forgive a lot from me. Uh, the one thing that I can't forgive, I mean, it's not even the, a matter of forgive, but uh, the one thing that I can't forget is I don't really think that person cares a button about me. I don't think that person has my best interest at heart. I don't think that person is thinking about me as that person gives me advice or makes decisions. And if that's the case, why would I follow that person? I'm going to look for somebody else who cares about me a little bit more. So 2020, if you really want to be a leader and not just a manager, the question is, how can you be that person for your potential followers? How can you care more about them? How can you find out more about them? And a secondary question, since we are in the field of HR and we're not only thinking about us as leaders, but also as how we develop true leaders in our organizations, how can we send that message across? How can we create an environment and a culture in our organizations in which people are encouraged to care about each other and leaders are encouraged care about their followers and not just managers. Your input as always will be much welcome. I would love to hear what books you read, what articles you read, what ideas you have around this topic, right? Being a servant leader, a benevolent leader, a person who cares about others. Your own personal goals for leadership next year would also be nice items to comment. Just a quick last reminder, Please do not forget that if, uh, as per the rules of LinkedIn, if you want to share an article um, 
a blog, something like that in a discussion item, remember that you need to post it first in the Knowledge Center of the linkedhr.com page. That's a, a rule that we're trying to enforce. If it's been a little lax the last few days, it's just because I'm on vacation. But please don't think that it's because the rule has disappeared. It's just that, well, eventually I had to take a break and uh, now is trying to, to carry a thousand groups on his own. So happy learning, happy rest of your week, and I hope you have great plans for leading others. Thanks.